Hello people, um, I am here today to share some um, Etsy hauls uh, that I'm really excited about. I have two of them um, and so I just want to get right down to it. I have not, let me see, make sure I don't cover up any, um, or I cover up all addresses, but I haven't opened the packages at all so you get to open them with me. And um, I ordered them roughly the same time. They came so fast. Um, and so I, I'll start with, let's see, let's start with this one here. Because this is kind of, they're both really cool. I'm so excited to get them. Um, okay, so what I have done is, and I'm, I'm going to keep this very short, is since I, most of you, if you follow my videos, um, for a while, you know that I'm a professor. Um, I teach at a private university and I teach um, college courses, the same courses at a private school. Um, and so I have, you know, been so grateful to get back to work so I can spend. <laughs> Oh my God, spend and gift. That's my that's my goal for the month. Um, and sorry, you're gonna hear noise um, go up and down the street. There's some kids riding their quad thingies or whatever those things are called. And so, but yeah. So anyway, um, and I'm not spending, guys, just because you know I have a little spending account um, that I've replenished um, since the summer. I'm spending with a purpose. So I have a purpose for the, the, the items that I, I bought. This particular, okay, let's look in here and see. This comes from Shannon Green, guys. And you guys know how much I absolutely adore her. And just think she is one of the coolest um, artists. Um, and I always seem to um, sort of put her in with just junk journaling but she's she's a mixed media artist and I don't even know why I'm telling you this because if you are subscribed to my channel you chances are you know who she is um she's a mixed media artist junk journaling artist um she'll test anything to the end of the earth you name it um whether it's oh my god guys now here here's where I become really really like duh because I don't know anything about art but she'll test like alcohol inks and oils and all kinds of mixed media products um, just to see what happens she's you know a very curious person <laughs> and it's really cool because she could you know there could be a person that she really likes or a company that she really likes but you can best believe she's going to test their product before she jumps on board or at least to tell you artists um crafty creative people um what the pro what what happens what the results are what it's like um and go from there so i've wanted so long to get one of her books that she makes out of i think it's out of recycled vinyl billboards and she fuses it now i really don't know what that means and i'm not going to even try to define it you'll have to go check out her channel um, and I'll link her below. This stuff is complicated to me, guys. Seriously, and I'm I'm not kidding. I'm not smiling. I'm not joking. <laughs> Art is complicated. Um, give me a novel, a novel, a book to dissect, um, you know, and interpret, and we're all good to go. But you start talking about art and making stuff. It's like, oh my god. But I can give you the supplies. That's for sure. Anyway, let me just get down to business here. So, I ordered um, one of the uh, custom keepers, the notebook covers. So, can you guys see that? I don't even need to show you this, but I'm gonna because everybody knows this woman. And so, um, her, uh, Shannon and her husband have um, really, like because she's OG she's original <laughs> you know she's she's like a thousand percent original in my opinion um, and I think it's true but they have mastered um, vinyl fusion and have started their own they I think they've patented the idea um, and I think it's just pretty amazing so there's that now let's open this and see the way look how nice it's packaged look at that and there's the information on what I got I got a five by 
uh, five and a half by eight and a half. And it's called Custom, Custom Keeper Journal Inserts Contain 20 Random Pages of Various Sizes. The cover is made from a retired vinyl billboard and includes two interior slant pockets. Love that they are recycling this. Um, and that's an original idea. And I don't blame her. I would have patented it to, to keep it. Keep it um, because, you know, they're making a, uh, trying to make a living off of, of this. This is their livelihood. So I think it was very smart to do that. So look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. I love, guys, you guys know me. I just love, love, love paper. All kinds of paper. Look at that. How fun is that? She's got paint chips in there. Look at that. All kinds of paper and textures to play with. And because I've been watching you guys for years, since I started doing junk journaling kits, I started off doing uh, junk journal embellishments um, packets and then um, started developing the kits into something that is a phenomenon now, I would say, which is amazing. Um, I love paper. I always have. Um, I love this. I love it. Look at the variety. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. Look at the paint chips, the recycling. I have, I do the same thing, Shannon. Look at the papers there. All the varieties of different papers. Love, love, love it. I might use this, guys, and I, I don't really want to say what I want to use it for because I never know until I, I have so, okay, let me back up. There's just so much to say all in one sentence. I have been so fortunate and so blessed to have either been gifted journals or have purchased journals or have won journals and giveaways. And I just have a beautiful collection from the best of the best of the best in the junk journal making community, the artist community. I, I've been very lucky um, and am so grateful. Um, look at the papers here. Just gorgeous phone book paper old magazine paper and I what so what I was gonna say is I might use this as I don't know I I don't know I just wanted it I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe a glue book I'm thinking I love it I love it I love it I love it and it's such a beautiful way to recycle that's my main main that's another reason I started making junk journaling kits was to go and capture things that would be otherwise dumped in the landfill and thrown in the landfill right um, and to provide supplies for people artists um, who wanted eclectic an eclectic mix of supplies and so um, it's just been a, an amazing ride and I haven't had any kits for a while I do have them uh, several of them um, coming up but I, I am full throttle in school and teaching right now and um, in teaching college courses, um, you know, it's it's a lot of work, but I love it. I absolutely love, love, love my profession. And so I'm really, really engrossed in that right now. I had jury duty, um, which sucked, but eh, it, it's okay. It turned out to be okay. I love this paper. It's one red stamp. 50 book on this page. I love that. Um, and so I had jury duty. Love all of the junk. I love it. Beautiful junk paper to be arted up, to be recycled, already recycled. And then I'm going to add my own touch to it. I love this, Shannon. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look, she's even got some little samples in there. This is amazing, guys. And it feels so good. The feeling of it is just so good. Talk about durability and long lasting. Look at the stitching there. Isn't that nice? I'm, I'm probably, this is what I'll probably do, guys. Because, I mean, if you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. And I hope you hang out um, and stick around. Um, because I usually have uh, a lot of videos that are related to estate sales that my mom and I 
uh, frequent thrift store hops um, and I haven't even put a dent into anything in terms of taking you guys out and about I do flea markets with my husband sometimes we actually sell at the flea markets at bazaars and it's just a lot of fun um, I don't make junk journals um, I'm not an artist I, I, guys I'm just not so what I do is um, and I'm so grateful for is buy my junk journals um, from uh, sellers and artists um, so then I can actually learn and look um, and um, you know just develop my kits even more this is amazing what I'll probably do with this I was gonna say guys what I'll probably do is get more of these and maybe maybe just put them in like a collection of, of these because I think this is so much fun and I love the papers I love the variety of papers thank you Shannon um, I am so excited and I love this and I'll be getting another one um, okay let me move on sorry guys my basset hound is the front door is open I'm in a different space than I usually am and he's right there outside the door um, barking at somebody who's weed eating I guess okay next I have this is a haul. Thank you, Shannon, so much, and I love it. I love it. I can't wait to, to get some other pieces. Um, I just love the feeling of that vinyl. It feels so good, and it feels super strong and, um, like, you know, dur durable. Okay, hang on, guys. I'm, let me get this open here. I'm trying to talk and, and open at the same time as if I can't do that. I'm not capable of that. This purchase, this Etsy haul is from the lovely talented 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 Anna Corona and I am so 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 lucky I just opened it now you heard me open that I'm so lucky to have yet another one of her beautiful pieces oh my gosh I saw this in her shop and I was like I gotta have it I gotta have it I gotta have it <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to even try and sing today because I'm all out of tune. It's still early, guys. Okay, let me open it here so you guys can see it with me. I love, oh my gosh, look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Anna. How beautiful. I don't know, guys. It's something about feel. It's something about texture. You know, when you feel... <clears throat> it's something about texture and the feel of things that I just really love. I'm a very tactile kind of gal. Um, and I just love the feel of stuff and feeling it and, and obviously looking at it. This feels so good. Look at the stitches there. Just beautiful. And look at that. How beautiful that's squared off. All that room I get to fill up. All of this room I get to fill up. April, Marcia, Sophia. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. That's three books, guys. These sit on my desk currently and they are full. Look at that. All three of them. There's April's beautiful journal. There's Sophia's beautiful journal. And there's Marcia's a Christmas journal nooked in there. Um, I've been adding um, recipes, my great grandmother's and my grandma and my mom's and my great auntie's recipes in there and still in their handwriting. Um, when I started doing embellishment kits for junk journals years ago, um, I would literally take some of my aunt's handwritten um, recipes and put them you know save them for myself but I actually put some in junk journaling embellishment kits my literally my aunt's handwriting she was born in 1927 um, and she passed away in 2014 she was 87 years old and so um, it's it's just amazing um, to actually collect those pieces from them and stick them in um, the journals that I buy from you guys so thank you ladies Mwah, so much because I I use them um, I haven't even started um, so this I got from Anna and I got it because I just love her work. I love her work. Look how pretty that is. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? 
I've been washing dominoes, guys. My hands are, are actually, um, let me show you. This is my coffee dyeing bucket I and my avocado dyeing bucket. Oh, and I've been washing dominoes. <laughs> so, um, eclectic sets of dominoes. So, that's how my, I've got three sets washed, um, and I've sold a couple of sets on in my Etsy store. So, I'm washing the next two rounds, um, and I think that, yeah, I think that'll be it for a little while on those. I have tons of other ones, but I have to get other pieces and other numbers because they are complete sets of 28, but they're all different. Some of them are different sizes, different colors, and that's been kind of fun. That's what my project to today, so I had to wash some before I mailed them to the lady. Anyway, isn't that pretty? My brain is so all over the place lately, guys, because I have been totally, totally, totally... Um, consumed with school and so uh, my brain has been totally on that kind of uh, autopilot um, this is gorgeous look at that oh this is so pretty and the feel of it look at the color I am so glad I got this I am so happy and so glad that I got this it's gorgeous it's even prettier in my hands look at that I just love 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 freaking love what you ladies do I love it I absolutely love it writing space and this one the goal is now I you know things may change up when I start using um, my booksmith journal my Donnelly journal, my um, uh, Sonia, oh my gosh, Sonia, my student, she's going to kill me if I don't say the last name right. Oh my God, I, me, Milosevic. <laughs> oh my God, anyway, I'm going to stop there because I know I messed it up again. My student will give me a terrible grade. Um, when I start to use those journals, they're, they're all going to be for specific, um, for specific uh, themes throughout my life and a collection. I have a wealth of family history and photos, um, six generations worth, um, stemming from my 105-year-old great-great-grandmother. Um, that's how she was when she passed, up to my daughter. Um, and so... Of those six, of the six generations, it's just my mom and I left, right? And so, I have a wealth of handwriting um, and beautiful notes, handwritten notes from my daughter um, to me or to my mother. I even have a picture my grandmother drew when my daughter and I moved to California. It was very hard for her, for my grandmother, my mother's mom, um, and my great grandmother, um, her mother. It was very difficult for them um, to see us move to a different state because it sort of broke up that, you know, that sixth generation, um, you know, physical lineage. And so anyway, to make a long story short, hang on, guys, I got to let a little dog in. Okay. And so I have like a wealth of family history and notes and handwritten things and beautiful photographs um of my family I, I you know I always say that I have been so fortunate um, to have known um, you know my great great grandmother all the way back I mean I grew up right with her and so um, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing and my mother and I have a wealth of just our family history we don't really necessarily um, have looked for family history is it's almost as if it hasn't been necessarily a need to to go past my great great grandmother who was 105 let me show you guys a picture of her hang on one second okay I think I found the one that I want to have several of these this is my great great grandmother and um, she died at a, 105 it wasn't long after this birthday um, she was born in 1882 and then this is my great grandmother whom I was very close to and you can see the resemblance um, she had four kids she had two and then this is her with my daughter um, and so it's amazing um, but guys this is nothing I just had to share that with you 
Um, so what my plan is, what the goal is for me personally, um, in all the journals, the ones I've won, all of them um, I will use except for ones like, like those, uh, those are my fun, keep my notes, my ideas, jot them down. Um, I glue stuff in there sometimes. Um, those are my fun, beautiful, junky junk on my desk kind of journal. Um, these, and I'll do a flip through one of these days if I can ever, you know, when I get it together, you you guys know how that goes. But these journals, um, the Sonia journals and the Booksmith journal and the Rita journal and the Rosemary journal and the Wendy journal and um, uh, Val, those, all of those, and I'm, I know I'm missing um, several people in there, including Anna, um, who sent me a happy mail journal that is so freaking lovely. It's just beautiful. Um, and so what I'll do is start collecting um, some of the historical parts of my family, which is very rich. Um, can't even explain it, guys, in, in one breath or in 20 minutes on a phone. It's just I'll just have to show you one of these days when I get it all together. So what I'll do is take some of the journals like these and sort of divvy them up into in terms of theme um, and what I mean by theme is uh, will I collect um, various flowers um, or let me see I don't think I brought the one there's some images I, I'll have to show you later I didn't bring it in here but there's some images of uh, pictures of my great aunts and my great grandmother's backyards guys flowers and just nature beautiful plants inside and outside of their homes um, and so I'd like to collect some of those um, so so nature right and then of course um, I started a while ago a book on my own before you know the whole uh, burst of the junk journaling community the whole I wouldn't say burst I shouldn't say that um, of the whole I started a while ago on my own before um, just the whole junk journal culture and in it it has all six generations a picture of each one of uh, the generations um, so my great great grandmother um, my great grandmother my grandmother my mom me and then my daughter and each one of them has a poem um, written beside it and then there would be more um, items to collect but what I'm gonna do instead of you know having that well anyway I have to show you guys I'm just like blah 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 I have to show you but I plan to sort of um, take that same idea and collect it in several journals right as you know just collect different themes whether it's nature um, whether it's one specific um, uh, figure maternal figure um, for example my great-great-grandmother um, that I will collect just to capture her personality things that she said um, things that she did um, for me as a child and my brother for my daughter for my mother for my grandmother those kinds of things um, and so the nice part is is that I have these little snippets of um, tangible handwritten pieces and photos um, of those kinds of things that she did so they would be support or examples of of those so anyway 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 okay let me stop talking um you can tell i missed you guys right because i do when i'm not on here for like ever i have so much to say and i'm so sorry about the noisy background people are out working in their yards today Oh lordy, this is beautiful. Let me hold it up a little bit. My hands are so dry, guys, because I've been washing those dominoes in my coffee. I hope you guys can see that. I think you can. Okay, and that's vellum. And then she's got this beautiful envelope over here. I'm pretty sure she's done. I think I should speed it up because I bet Anna's done a flip through of this. And I'll link it below um, for you. Look how beautiful. Look at all the tags. Look at the butterfly. Look at the little clear pocket. All this writing space. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just love it. I saw someone, oh my gosh, maybe two weeks ago before school got to, you know, started to really rock and roll. Um, swap I think with her and I don't remember her name 
I'll find the video and I'll link that video too. I promise I won't forget. The the journal that Anna made her guys, oh my god. I mean there were some things in in the journal that I've never seen done before and you guys know me. I mean I don't get to I don't know, you know, a lot about styles and and uh techniques, I should say when you guys are putting these together but some of the um, the techniques and the different um, fold outs and embellishments on the pages and the way Anna folded pages and what she did with them I've never seen that done some of those things never seen before and it was really cool so I'm gonna make sure to link that she just has really beautiful work and she leaves a lot of writing space look how pretty that is so much writing space just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. I think that's a, um, what is that, guys, a pansy? I think that's what that is. Just beautiful. I love the music paper. Such beautiful imagery. And I love when there's space like this, guys. And then there's a pop of a picture or an image that your eye can't help but like enjoy it because that's all you're looking at and this is sort of welcoming and inviting to write on for you know for writing um, uh oh guys my phone's flashing for writing um, so I'll okay I think my camera yeah it did cut out on me sorry about that um, so let me go ahead and finish up and I'll link the video to where oh my god to where she uh, did a flip through of this and I'll definitely link um, Shannon Green's info now Anna's um, I have a card of hers and it'll take me it's in um, one of my uh, books where I keep everybody's cards I won't take time to grab it out so I'll put all of her information below as well as Shannon Green's but I'm just so happy thank you Shannon Thank you, Anna, so much. I am just so, so, so excited to use these. Shannon, I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. That's going to become one of my desk books like those over there, like my Marcia, April, and Sophia journals. I cannot wait to play in that baby. <laughs> That's because I, you guys, I have to have like a journal on my desk that when I'm going through things, I have to remember stuff. I have a happy mail list. I even was contemplating... Um, a name change for G GT Designs and having you guys vote on it and then whoever wins giving away something but I am gonna leave it GT Designs because that's who we are that's what I've been my husband still makes things hand makes um, items and includes those in our Etsy store and it's I'm the you know I run everything he doesn't have time to do any of this honestly but he does hand make wooden items from time to time and so I'm gonna leave it GT Designs and Vintage Art Supplies um, because that's who we are. That's who we started out as, and that's who we still are. This is so pretty. Look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this so much, Anna. I love it. I'm so happy I got it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I got it. And I got a lot of room to write and play around with. Look at that. Just beautiful. And look at the cover. So thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you. And Shannon, honey child, <laughs> thank you. I'll be getting some more of these. Um, big Texas hugs to you, girl. Um, and Anna, thank you. Thank you both again. Um, I'll be back with some more goodness, guys. I have, um, I think I might have another haul. Um, and oh, and I do have kits coming. I'm still doing, I'm working on Happy Mail still, so I can't even think about kits or touch them just yet until I, um, until I get all of my Happy Mail out. Um, and I'm, it's just going out, you know, it's, it's, it's headed out the door. Some people have, are in receipt of theirs, and I've got several other larger ones that, um, I have to, to finish up and get out. So that's where I'm at. That's why I haven't done kits. However, my mother and I, um, I found some amazing, amazing cool pieces of old children's ephemera and books. And um, what else did I find? I found, I found some linens and some hankies. Sorry about that, guys. 
the the front door is open and I have the fan on. So here in Texas today, it's 80, I think it's like 80, going to be 89, close to 90 today. So there's supposed to be rain later tomorrow, if not this evening. So it's really nice and cool. And when it's like that, I turn all electri electrical things, you know, air off, off. Everything goes off except for a little floor fan and the front door. The air is um, nice coming through the front door, uh, the breeze. Um... So yeah, I'll uh, post the footage. Post the footage. I'm trying to hurry, guys. I'm sorry. My stung, my stung, my tongue is stacking on top of itself, um, and that happens when I'm in a hurry. Um, but I wanted to tell you that I will post a video of the hall my mom and I went to, uh, the hall, the estate sale that my mom and I went to. Guys, that house was so freaking huge. With a bunch of old, beautiful stuff. Oh my God, I was in heaven. I just died and went to, to vintage heaven. Um, I didn't do as much damage as I would have liked to. My mom, mm, she did She did okay. She controlled herself or, you know, refrained to some degree. But it was amazing. And it's all this weekend. Um, it started... I think it started on a Thursday, but it was just so much fun. I'm not sure I'll be able to do a haul of what I got because I've already dispersed everything in my stock. But as I develop kits and get kits together, I'll be sure to reference um, the video because I will post the, the actual video of us um, looking for things. It is a little shaky, guys, but it's a little bit better than what I've done in the past. And for those of you who get seasick watching videos, um, there are moments where it's a bit still and there are some moments where it's kind of like, woo because I was trying to hold stuff and hold the camera and shop and look um, and multitask. Um, and it's, you know, I just got to get better at that. I'll figure something out. Um, and what else was I going to tell you guys? So I have a lot of that stuff, um, beautiful old vintage stuff being dispersed. A lot of 1940 stuff um, being dispersed. Some of it's going in Happy Mail. Um, and... What else? I do have a lot of kits coming up. Some of them may be um, in packs, um, themed packs. Some of them may be in full-blown kits. I have an old-style GT Designs vintage throwback kit. A couple of those coming up. Actually, three of those coming up. And then I have some smaller ones. I just have a lot um, for you guys, and I'm really excited. Um, and I am excited. I haven't shown the Kitty Cat kits yet because some of the vintage... Hang on, let me grab it. I got time, I got time, I hope. Hold on. Okay, these are some of the old images that came out of a book that, books, there were several that were just beat the heck up. And so I um, called some of the images out, the ones that I could save, um, and those will go in um, the cat kits. And the pages are large, they're really big. Um, there's some more images there on the back. And then look at this one. And I had to say rescue this one because it was pretty beat up. But these come from um, these come from really, really old style books. And look at that. The cat and the dog. Yeah, I gotta end this video because the kids across the street are they're not gonna stop with their quad thingies. Um, and then I found these cute old linens. They there were so many pretty linens. Um and this is a teal. It's not going to show on my camera that it's a teal because of the lighting. It looks like it's clouding up just a little bit. Um, so I've got some of those coming up in the kitty cat kits. So you can look forward to those. Oops, that's backwards. It goes that way. There we go. And um, I got... Um, so there were a couple of those. And then look at this one. It's just so cute. Isn't that adorable? So those are going to, and I'm so glad. Sometimes, guys, I'm, I have to be honest with you. Sometimes when I, with Happy Mail or kits, sometimes I kind of hold on to them a little bit long, longer than, um, you know, than, than sending them out so fast because I like to add to them as I find things. Um, and sometimes it, it just works out so perfect. The stars just line up for that. Um, and so I was so thrilled. I found, let me just show you guys. I know, I know, I know this is not a haul video. It's a, well, no, it's a haul video. Well, I'm doing a haul. Duh. Hang on. 
Okay, I wasn't planning to do a haul. Um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I got. Um, it, there was just so much, guys. It's, it was just way, way, way out of control, um, the stuff that they had. And the lady um, who was in charge of it, she says, well, come back because I have a lot of that kind of ephemera and stuff. Um, but these are just some of the other images um, from some of the larger books. And these papers are so fragile um, and so old. They're from the 40s. Um, but I'll just show you quickly. This video is going to be long and I hate that. Um, you can see some of these pretty pictures here. Some of the books were whole. I love this one. The big lettering. Some of the books were whole. Now this one was complete. This one's called Sleepy Time Picture Book. 1946. And I'll do a, um, oh my god, look at the birds. I'll do a, do a, uh, just kind of tell you guys when I show you the video of me and my mom finding stuff. Um, but this one, this book was just, it, it's still intact. It's just gorgeous. Look at the little birds up there. And so I will, um, just show you some of the things as I put these in kits or put some of this in kits. This one I put aside because I didn't know if I wanted to sell it, um, complete or put it complete in a kit or what I'm still thinking through and those of you who do junk journal supply kits now um, you you understand how you need to go through the stuff and see what's going to be best for your customers and this might I think this might work best in like as a completed book in a junk journaling kit I'm just not sure yeah anyway so there's that um, quickly 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 I found this old reading book here. I'll just flip through that on the road. And this is another 1940s book. But it's got some darling, darling images in it where um, some child has colored, you know, in it. And I think it's just extraordinary to have those. These are awesome for tags right? Um, I think those would be really cool. And so I won't flip through the whole thing, but it's just um, you know, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. Um, and I love the kids scribbles and their, the handwriting in it. I think, I guess I could tell you guys about it later, but I think this, um, these people were like around my great aunt's age when she passed away. She was in her eighties. She was 87. And I think these people were in their eighties because a lot of, they had, there was so much, um, so much uh cooking stuff right there was just a ton of it um i love this original work page and look at the script the the handwriting um that's another reason why i've been slow i've been helping my sister with my niece um which is always so much fun my niece is my niece is just an extraordinarily extraordinarily an extraordinary little kid i'm sorry guys i'm trying to hurry she is um, just turned 10. I call her and my sister 5010. My sister just turned 50. And my niece just turned 10. And my sister gets tired, you know. She's a tired mama. She works a lot. And she's a nurse. And, you know, she's trying to still date. She wants to be married again. And it's hard sometimes, you know. And so I've been trying to help her out, especially in terms of my niece's... Um, schoolwork um, she's in a private school and that little girl has homework guys it's amazing she had to spell out words um, on a recent look how cute that is in a recent um, spelling test words like phobia diagnoses phenomena um, uh, amoeba all that those kinds of words um, dialysis <laughs> I was like oh my god she had to spell those out hang on guys let me grab one more thing okay so um, yeah she she just has a lot of homework and it's a lot it's really really a lot and so that's I've been sort of busy with my niece I haven't um, spent time quite yet with my um, other niece and her brother um, uh, when I say spend time with I mean like an all-day weekend thing I usually do that um, but I've just been kind of worn out too from school so I'm you know making my rounds making my rounds this is another pile 
um, that I found. Now, some of this I've already pulled for Christmas. I probably will make, I'm pretty sure, I said I wasn't going to do any more Christmas um, uh, kits. And these won't be kits. These will just be Christmas random packs with Christmas theme items in there. There's more stuff. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There was so many um, beautiful pieces um, and the lady kept saying, come back because I have more, I have more. And I'm like, oh my God, please stop. And this is just a giant coloring book that some child has um, gone through and, and colored and written in, which I think makes it that much more lovely. Um, look at this one. They're uh, pulling groceries in a wagon, vegetables in a wagon. Um, look at the little ice skate or the roller uh, skates those were the metal kind right I think this family I, I get sidetracked guys because I want to tell you so much but I think this family were they had to be in, had to have been in their 80s and some of this might have been from their kids books or whatever um, some of this will go into religious themed um, packs but the images of, of the paper the ephemera is just gorgeous and it's all like 1940s um, just really pretty. So this is old, as old as my mom. My mom is 70 years old. Um, so it's as old as she is. And so there's just some other old pages. And then there's some rabbits. These rabbits, this is a Peter Rabbit book from the four, 1947. It was incomplete, but as we all know, us junk journal suppliers and you junk journal makers, you know that when you find old paper like that, it doesn't matter if it's complete or not. You just want to rescue that paper, right? And so I just picked up this Peter Rabbit, even, that, even though it didn't have the uh, cover to it. So I got that. And there's an old uh, little piglet book of just the most darling uh, images, right? And so there's a lot there. And that's one with some planes. Um, there's that one there, TV coloring book, a cutout book. And this is one, um, Three Little Kittens. This is another one that I was um, likely going to um, uh, take some of the images, harvest some of the images out maybe, or just put that in, in the pack just like that. And then this was really fascinating um, to... Uh, to hang on guys babe let me finish this honey hold on one second okay so um this is one of the this is the uh typewriter book that i found guys and it's all beat up look at that but the pages in it are just perfect 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 um it's got all kinds of old typewriter um handwriting and letter writing and you know just the old school type of thing old school um, whatever that means right um, I tell my, my I don't allow my students to use the term old school um, this one's 1957 so it's pretty yeah it's retro it's, it's really nice um, so some of that will be in some kits and then I found this beautiful ledger babe hang on okay I'm almost done um, so this ledger I grabbed it <laughs> because um, I just love the pink and that teal color, the numbers at the top. I think the person who, um, like maybe the people who were preparing for the estate, maybe they ripped out some pages that were handwritten on. I can't imagine because usually, excuse me. Usually people um, who are estate, you know, professionals who put the estates together, they know that people love that stuff. But it was really interesting that that was, some of the pages were ripped out. Um, but anyway, that's that's my haul, guys. I didn't mean for the video to go this long. I am so sorry. Um, but sometimes when I don't see you guys for a while, there's just so much um, that I have to tell you and want to tell you. Um, but I'll be back. Um, but... Thank you, Anna, and thank you, Shannon. You girls rock, rock, rock hard. Um, and I cannot tell you and express my happiness. How I am so happy. First of all, I'm happy um, 
let's see, I got a few days off coming up, and so I should be able to finish up some mailings. I've got a couple orders I need to get out. Um, two or three orders I got to get out, and then I've got to mail out some Happy Mail, more packages, Happy Mail, and then I can get busy with some kits, guys. So stay tuned for that, okay? Um, my hubs is like putting pressure on me to like, I need you, I need you. <laughs> so I gotta go, guys. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Adios, sale pues, orale pues.